They are undergoing training. Uh, they are going through the training in uh, Russia. They are back with us and they are undergoing the training, which is part of our plan. So that is the first part. So they, that will undergo in one more year. Uh, different activities, theoretical, experimental, simulation. Then, of course, they will go through various other skills which are specific to the mission. They are going through only general part of it uh, till now. Now, coming to the technical side of the Gagan uh, there are many elements. One is human rated launch vehicle, the GSLM R3. Probably you already know in the bus, uh, it has already come that we have tested the S200. Gagan human rated S200. They tested the human rated L110, tested the human rated C25, and all tests are gone successfully. But it is not the end of it. There are Many more tests are to be done in various extreme situations. No? Nominal operation plus we look at boundaries where all it can go wrong. And thus those conditions are tested. Some of them are tested. Some more tests are going to continue in this year. Next is the crew module. Crew module propulsion, there was an important test recently. Just started the test program. It will continue some more. Then there is a propulsion module or the called service module propulsion. So that also has to go through some test which recently uh, it, will, it will be getting ready for testing further. Next is the aborting. That how in case of anything happens, you have to save the crew. For that some systems called crew abort system is newly being made. We did something in, during pad abort test, but this is a revised one with a higher capability. So we are planning to do a test and, uh, immediately using a test vehicle. So that is already getting, um, that test vehicle is already ready and it is flagged, is going to be flagged off to Sri Harikota soon, maybe in one or two days. But after that you have to integrate the crew module and test it to crew the launch. So this, this year we want to do that launch of aborting and demonstrating how crew can be saved. So this is the next goal. But the crew module still little more work is required. We, we call it pressurized crew, mod, crew module and it has to have the human you know, service capability capability which is called the environmental life support system. So that is under development, various elements are under testing, but as an integrated system it is yet to see the uh, final shape, so that is the next element. Then the last and most important element is intelligence in the rocket, where you can find that something is going wrong. So that part is called the, uh, the onboard uh, uh, intelligence called the launch vehicle health management system or uh, service crew module service health management system. So this integrated computer is just made. But a lot of algorithms have to be fed into it and then we have to go through simulations. This work is next uh, main work for the next one or one year or so. Last time you sort introduced Vyom Mitra and it is being said that before the uh, human mission, a robo woman will be sent to the space. If you can uh, tell something about it. Let her go, please. Allow her to go before the human being comes. Because it is safe for us to send a robot first. So that what are the preparations uh, for this and evaluation uh, process? How will lot that of the, be? A lot, lot of them. But uh, it is very difficult to tell in terms of words, what are the tests and evaluation, etc. It's a very complex matrix. We will start from uh, testing in uh, vibratory environment, we test thermal environment, you do simulations, we do off nominal simulation, we do Monte Carlo simulations, we do failure mode simulations. So a lot of things are like this. I don't want to feed you with a lot of technical words. Is it all ready for the when is it take when, when is the takeoff for this uh, uh, which one? This the, experiment. That, that uh, first uh, abort mission we want to do this November. But uh, looks like that may happen little little later but before December we would like to do that about and what about the robo mission sir after robo that? mission is next year middle or next maybe little later and and final Gagalian now if you can training, get I have to get the astronaut here they are, they feel very happy so I feel their training is good whenever I meet them they are very very happy so when are the astronauts be introduced to us let, uh, let it be decided by somebody <laughs> I hope <laughs> so can you be there? Also, one more thing you spoke very well about why Gaganyan for India? You know, now this is an expo where common man will be here. So, what is the message that you would like to tell uh, the people? Why Gaganyan for India? See, only question is, you do you want to see an Indian in space? You want to be proud of it? Then Gaganyan has to happen, no? If you want to see, oh, people have already gone to moon, and they have, what more you are going to do going there? One more Indian you send our space, spend our money and waste our money. This type of feelings are all there. I agree with that. But I would, as a scientist and technocrat, I would like to convince them that why it is important. Like going to going to Antarctica, going to Moon and Mars are important for a nation like us. We are no longer a developing country. We are a powerful country trying to become one of the most powerful economic power in the world. And if you want to be there, you need to be technically, technologically of one of the leading ones. It cannot be achieved by sub subjugation. It has to be by demonstration of the power. And we don't want to kill anybody. We don't want to conquer anybody. But we want to show technically we are one of the supreme. And we can do it ourselves, right? 
there are many areas it is gaganyan is only one of the element we need to make electronics ourselves we need to make our food security better we need to have you know medicines for all our cures you now we need to handle the difficult situations what exist in this country like drinking water clean air all these are real issues all these are to be solved and gaganyan is human space plant is one of those are many elements of your technical prowess right. on the on the occasion of 75th year of indian independence what message is india sending uh, to the world you know with this uh, mission uh, no this underway. mission and 75 years don't combine too much 75 year of independence is is one of the celebration of the the country for celebrating the accomplishment of the nation in not only in uh, space but in many other areas so as a nation we have survived we have thrived we have grown we are not going back at all we are looking forward so a nation looking forward for further progress to have its space in this world you know we were once a dominant country dominant means see we have been dominant and we have been powerful not by attacking anybody not by conquering anything but by the intelligence and capabilities and contribution that we have made to the whole world no that part nobody can deny today though we have been subjugated we have been uh, oppressed we have come back after so many years and we would like to see this nation thriving for next the hundreds thousands of years and this is the this is a celebration of that uh, intent no yes, that's an intent so final sir any tentative final uh, date for the gagan No, the gagan right now we have already announced the date minister our honorable minister jitender singh has already announced that it will be by end of 2023 we hope that the target can be met all targets are highly uh, success oriented targets for us we hope that all our tests will go safely successfully in every step that we take but of course that the date will be decided based on the progress that we make but thank this you. is a in, in, in the date thank you thank, thank you, you so much onset of uh, covid which really big effect some of our programs but at the same time up to this stage we have achieved quite a lot in fact i must say that uh, the human rated launch vehicle is exciting new new technologies challenging technologies which like uh, the the development of crew module the environmental control system the mechanism of deceleration during reentry and then touching down the parachute deployment i can go on and on and the kind of recovery operations that are required the kind of on orbit communications that are required uh, it is extremely challenging and it will finally culminate in the first unmanned mission so uh, a lot of exciting for the indian public what we have achieved and where are we i think it is our duty to do that and let me also tell you that this is not an isro program this is a pan india program the academia the industries you know most of the activities that is so even other ways uh, conduct are with the help of more than 60 to 70% with the help of industries only one of the important you know employers and revenue owners in this country today the biotechnology sector the medicines that we have been able to manufacture in the times of the pandemic is really amazing and india is one of the biggest manufacturer of you know, regular drugs or standard drugs that we are importing and we are the biggest supplier of drugs for the entire world even now so if you look at various sectors we can be proud of many great achievements that we have made but there are many more areas that we are yet to explore and accomplish space is one of them space is one domain that during 60s sara bhai believed that there is something that we can do for space through space that we can address the problems of our people and we can really make a change in their life through the application of the technology from space and this is where we began and there were many skeptics at that point in time and we overcoming all those skepticism we have achieved in the last 50 60 years something phenomenal what we have really achieved in space sector if you really look back you understand that why
Thank you.